Yes, my ladies, welcome to Zip Gaming Online, and today we're gonna be talking about salvation prophecy. What is salvation prophecy? Well, it's weird. They say it's a space sim, but is it really? Well, it's not. Uh, I would actually say it's a um, space RPG. Because it's really misleading, really. Like, when I first um, played the game, I came into the game thinking that it was going to be a space art, uh, space sim, but it's not. Like, look at it. Uh, sure, you get to shoot things and, you know, travel around and whatnot, but it's not. So, why, why is it what it is? This game is completely, well... Sure, you get to fly around like this, right? However, it is not a space sim. It is very much a space RPG. It's very much based on you unlocking stuff and allowing yourself to do a whole lot more stuff. However, you do get to jump like that to travel between distant places and then you do get to enjoy this. Wormhole travel because it'll freaking trip the sh well, okay, it it's trippy. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It's pretty trippy and um, this is on a stable wormhole. The unstable wormhole is even like it's it's just far worse than this. All right. With that being said, I do have to kind of tell you that. Well, this game, it kind of frustrates the hell out of me, alright? You get to actually have different ships and whatnot, which is somewhat of a, you know, space sim kind of thing, but it's not. Why is it not? Well, because in the game, you actually get to pick um, to be in one of the four factions, alright? So you get to choose whether you're a free nation, which is a complete normal human being, a salvation, which is mutated human being, which apparently all of them are chicks that look like Twi'leks, go figure, and then the uh, third one are the drone unity, alright? Drone unity is practically robots, very heavy, very slow, very high damage, stuff like that. And then the weir. All right, they're androids. With that being said, if you pick a single nation or faction or whatever you want to call them, right? You get to play as that faction. You get to actually see their um, ship, but you cannot have a different type of ship. You're stuck with that single ship for the rest of the game. Kind of sucks. However, uh, what's cool about it is that for every single nation, or faction, or whatever you want to call them, right, you actually get to, um, well, you get to actually see them behaving differently. Every single one of them has their own tactics, every single one of them has their own looks, which is good. But, speaking of that, it's not so good in one single little minuscule thing but you will be spending a ton of your time in that little thing which is why it bugs me <laughs> but this is a minor thing and the thing was space station you'll be spending pretty much the majority of your you know non-fighting time inside the space station the space station lets you to uh by stim packs, which is pretty much like healing potions and whatnot, and um, you also get to actually purchase your weapons, upgrade your armor, stuff like that, right? You get to upgrade your ships in the uh, space station as well, and you get to launch raids and all of that. So, pretty much you're spending most of your time there if you're not fighting. It kind of sucks when you know, you see all of these people like, oh, okay, they're all cool, right? 
not really because they're all the same. It kind of sucks. And this kind of extends to the uh, NPCs. No matter who the NPCs are, if you're meeting up with the NPC, even be it the uh, mission commander, the um, cartographer, the communication officer, ship engineer, bounty missions, right? Even the medic, even the uh, armory guy, even the guards, they all have the same models. Now that's kind of annoying. However, this is the other problem. Well, not problem, but solution. The, um, the game is very much centered on how easy it is to mod, alright? And if you go to the forum, they actually kind of pretty much extend their reaches towards you and just like, Oh, mods, okay, perfect, come here, you know, we'll even help you to get the uh, thing started, so that's good. Especially considering this game is pretty much, you know, like coded and all of that by one guy with like pretty much like art asset uh voice acting and stuff like that from people all around the world so it's not a traditional studio by any means fire dance games are well it's really a different kind of studio not a lot of studio does that so even to get to this point this is pretty cool so Salvation Prophecy do certainly come from a different background from, you know, most games. But we're going to talk about it just like any other game. So what's uh, what's cool about it? Well, like I said before, it is different. It is a game that you can kind of just play around in and just, okay, it's not the same. You don't get to be John Rambo. You get to be really weak as piss. However, with, like this challenging gameplay right the reward is ridiculous stuff like this you completely des destroyed every single ship defending a space station and you get to destroy a space station how cool is that and just because it's hard it makes it even more awesome to do it right and this ship it's different than the previous ship yeah this is because the current ship right now, the green one, is the Salvation Army's ship. You don't get to switch ship, like I said previously, which kind of sucks. And you can kind of see there's a skill tree there. So, like I said, it's, it's more into space RPG than space sim. It really does. And I was talking about the uh, space station before. It was like that. Every single one of them. It sucks, doesn't it? And it kind of sucks that every single thing looks look alike. Like in this one, you are the uh, drone unity. So, what's up with drone unity, right? Well, what is up with the drone unity is they are high damage and all of that, but really slow. But they all, they all look alike, and every single faction look alike. It kind of sucks. The only... I suppose the only difference that I could even manage to see in the game are limited to the two human faction, which is the Free Nation and the Salvation. Salvation... You can... Well, you can kind of see that they're trying for a different head look and all of that. But they're still, they still all look like Twi'lek women to me, and they really do. All right, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I'll even prove my point. So um, let's take a look at the screen one more time. This time it's the Salvation Army attacking an enemy. All right, and y you see this? <laughs> if if this doesn't kind of scream like, oh crap, they all like. They all look like hot Twi'leks running around. Then I don't know what else to explain to you that is close to, well, the description of this, you know. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to quickly talk about what is cool about different factions, right? Different factions have different strategies. So that is cool. That is something that I want to keep seeing. Like, if you're a free nation, 
but pretty much your greatest strength is this kind of burst shooting destroying things as quickly as you could and then the drone unity is just that you're well you're pretty much a tank right and then you get to play as like salvation where you actually get to do really neat tricks like strategy tactics that you wouldn't be able to do before okay what was cool is that with salvation you actually got um well every uh, every faction you got three weapons all right with the um with the uh, salvation, you get the uh, dual wield uh, pistol, and then you got this electrical shinamajig thing that just pretty much this electricity running to the enemy. And if you keep holding that down, you get to actually control the uh, energy, and you get to burst it to heal yourself and do all this crazy stuff. There's also shield gun and whatnot. However. With every single game, there is this, all right? This is the thing that cannot be escaped no matter w what you are. Even if you're a weird faction that pretty much built um, turrets and throws grenades at the enemy, every single one of you will still do this. This is the story. This is the story part, okay? What's cool about the story part? Well you do get visions like this so this is pretty much for you to kind of explore and get the feel but well the story is very 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 dark so with that being said the um well the actual vision themselves could be pretty dark <laughs> like dark <laughs> the story itself is kind of like it kind of sucks like I'm 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 not gonna spoil too much, and this is something that you will see regardless, and you could even see it before you even properly play the game. Is that pretty much those four factions are the last remaining, you know, humanity left, and they just kind of fight each other, senseless, right? But there is the salvation prophecy the name of the game as well as the prophecy itself that you actually get to do stuff like that like um you actually heard stories that oh well one day you know the uh humanity will come back and be nice and friendly again but uh, for the meantime they're gonna kill each other and the story is really cool it's really dark, it's really cool, it's hard as shit, and most of, like, the story itself, right, you kind of have to read. You, you can't just, like, oh, well, I'm just gonna hear everything that's been, you know, told to me. Not really. This game, more than anything, I'll be honest, is one of the only game in my recent memory that actually got me into a sense of like urgency all right it, it feels like i'm being pushed into a corner and i have to defend myself and i am so screwed but i have to defend myself i'm, I'm fighting a losing battle i'm fighting a hopeless desperate fight and I've never felt before like that. Like, it, uh, in my recent memory anyway, like I've never actually played a game that I was just like, huh, this is really cool. And could you imagine just how cool it is for a game to actually do that with this kind of graphic with, well, let's just face it, kind of botched up gameplay. The gameplay is not the best, obviously, because like, oh, look at the uh, newer games, like it got all the crazy quirks and whatnot and you know crazy gimmicks to actually kind of pull you in but this game is very basic gun shoot ship fly enemy attacks you very simple right but it managed to actually push me into a corner that I was just like oh crap what am I supposed to do now and I'm just still fighting I just want to win you know 
You know what? Screw winning. I want to survive. That's what I want. <laughs> so it's really cool that the game is able to do that with such a limited, well, resource given to them. And honestly, guys, this is a really good game. Never before that a game actually leaves such an impression for me that I was just blown away. Even, okay, during the story, you will gain runes, right? What are runes? Well, runes give you the ability to, you know, like stop time, summon um, dinosaurs, something, like basically just a giant space lizard. Right? You get to call on meteors and stuff like that. However, with that being said, it's not gimmicky. It doesn't feel like a gimmick. Just because it's so hard, I'm just like, ah! <laughs> it's like, this game is so hard, but hard is not the proper word. Very challenging. Because it is possible for you to win. And you know what? At first, I was gonna cover this game without completing the story, and I was just like, this is really hard, too hard. But you know what? Screw it. I finished the story, I pretty much finished the game, I tried it out, and it's really cool. It, it really is. I mean, cool story, challenging gameplay, different ways to tackle a problem. All right? And even if you attack something or something attacks you, you have the choice to actually retreat. Have you ever seen that before? Oh my god, I'm like, this is crazy, right? It's like, it's, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna check my phone just to be safe. Alright, let's take a look. Yes, it is currently 2013. I mean, guys. Why does it take so long for us to actually recognize the importance of retreat? It's like if you if you can't win, retreat. It's like it's this is crazy. This is so good. However, with that being said though, I do have to say that the, the graphic is not the strong point. The gameplay mechanic is not the strong point. Most guns act the same way as the other guns, all right? It's very basic, but it still manages to pull you in. So, guys, check it out. Seriously, the game is really cool. Go check it out. And by the way, if you like this kind of video, you like this format, please let me know. Like the uh, video, leave a comment. And if you guys like it, well, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.